certain bulk materials cannot be stored in cylindrical silos with an outlet cone because no flow aid would extract them. For some of those materials, the outlet cross-section at the silo must be increased. Others don't even allow the slightest wall angle in the outlet section and require rectangular-shaped silos with vertical or even negatively inclined walls all the way down to the outlet. As a result, mechanical feeding devices must be adapted to the cross-section of the outlet. RAM offers single, double and multiple shaft flood-fed screw feeders and tailor-made standards for various applications and for materials as different as flour, bran, wood chippings and sawdust, shredded paper or sludge. According to the cross-section of the silo outlet, SU-type single-shaft screw feeders are available with standard U-shaped or with flare trough. In a light-duty version, SU feeders are used for flower materials with similar bulk density and properties. For animal feed and similar products, a heavy-duty version is available. In the DO version, the feeder is equipped with an additional inlet hopper, including an agitator tool. Screw diameters range from 100 to 400 millimeters. Open trough lengths from 500 to 1,500 millimeters, whereas the tubular length is variable. A light duty version offering maximum self-cleaning is the UC type screw feeder. Mainly used in flour mills, the UC feeder has a tapering inlet screw and casing. For more difficult materials, a wider cross-section of the silo outlet and the feeder inlet is required. In such cases, twin-shaft screw feeders are the right solution. Like the single-shaft types, twin-shaft feeders are available in light and heavy duties, and for certain types of continuous operation, are also available in extra heavy duty. The BU-type twin-shaft screw feeder has been specially designed for transporting materials like bran, soya flour and sawdust. Its tapered inlet trough follows the shape of the inlet sections of the screws, enclosing them almost completely from below. This type of screw feeder is preferred by users who do not wish to have material residue in the feeder trough. Live bin bottoms and various versions are used when all other feeder types and flow aids fail. Materials like flour, bran, soya flour, as well as process and sewage waste are stored in silos or bins with vertical or even negatively inclined walls. It depends on the characteristics of the material to be extracted and on the required output rate whether screws with helicoid flights in different versions, shaftless spirals or paddle blades are used. Trough housings are made according to a modular design. Screw diameters range from 150 to 600 millimeters. Standard units house up to six screws, while standard open trough lengths are available in 500 mm steps starting from 1.5 and ending at 4 meters. Trough housing and screw are made of carbon steel, stainless steel, or RAM's unique engineering polymers Syntex or Syntel. RAM screw feeders and live bin bottoms offer a number of advantages and innovative features. Constant feed rates. 
For certain applications, screws and trough lining made of WAM's unique engineering polymer syntax and food grade Centel. Modular design allows easy access and individual custom design features. High degree of self-cleaning. Problem-free handling of extremely difficult materials. Sturdy design. Prevention of bridging, rat holing and segregation and improvement of material flow. WAM's worldwide sales network guarantees optimum spare supply and competent after-sales service. A wide range of belt material handling equipment represents the ideal complement and makes WAM the ideal supplier for system manufacturers. The series production of screw feeders and live bin bottoms guarantees an outstanding price-performance ratio. At an industrial level, quality control is essential at each stage of the manufacturing process. ISO 9002 quality system certification gives the client the assurance that the equipment he is going to use has been checked and tested in each phase of the manufacturing process. Quick delivery is guaranteed thanks to a large amount of stock of components and parts at the RAM factory in Italy and at the company's worldwide subsidiaries. During the following part of this video, Please pay attention to the special safety notices. On receipt of the consignment, check that the goods are in conformity with the invoice and with the acknowledgement of order. Handle all material with care. Remove the feeder or bin button and its accessories from the packaging and pay careful attention to the instruction manual supplied for handling, assembly and installation. Support and fix the feeder or bin bottom as specified in the manual according to the type of installation. Before starting the feeder or bin bottom, please remember the following notices. Never put your hands inside the screw feeder or live bin bottom while it's running. The electrical connection with the main supply must be carried out by qualified personnel only. Before any kind of repair or maintenance work, disconnect the electric motor from the mains. Before electrical connection, ensure the electric motor plate data and the voltage supply match. Ensure the feeder or bin bottom has been properly supported and solidly fastened. Remove any foreign substances from inside the trough. Ensure the correct direction of screw rotation. If incorrect, reverse the wiring of the electric motor. Before adding material, start the empty feeder or bin bottom and make sure it runs smoothly. Only then add material and proceed with regular operation. Don't use the feeder or live bin bottom for materials other than the ones the equipment has been designed for. The screw feeder or live bin bottom cannot function in a standalone capacity. It is therefore prohibited to place it into service until the plant in which it is installed has been globally declared to conform with the requirements of the European General Safety Directive for machines. For maintenance and replacement of wear parts, please refer to the video on trough screw conveyors as they consist of the same mechanical components.